Welcome to a demo of Smokeball Law Practice software. I am Errol Janis, owner of Edward Technology, and we provide IT support, cybersecurity, and Microsoft 365 Cloud to law offices all over America. We also have two office locations in the Chicagoland area. Okay, let's dive in. I'm gonna come past the Smokeball. This will just get us back to that home screen where we were. Going to the file menu, there's some simple things that you can do here. One as simple is just getting to the Smokeball settings. We'll go through that in another video, how to deep dive into that. This would also be where you would reset your password. Help and support will just get you back to where you were on the support page, and you can easily switch users or log out from this screen. You don't have to log out every day. It's just simply simpler to go ahead and exit, but it gives you the option to do that in case you're sharing a workstation. On the top here, we have what's called our action bar. And these are activities you can take or things you can do. The most important one on the home screen is the new matter one, because this is the button you're going to click to create every one of your matters. The rest of these, new contact, event, and task, we always recommend as a best practice to use those buttons from an individual matter. Because otherwise, if we do create an activity or a phone message, you want to make sure that you always specify a specific matter if you do it from this home screen. On the left-hand side, we have our views, so we have our matters. You'll have all your contacts across all your different matters. You can see we have some specific tags that Smokeball associates with your contacts on how you use them, but you do have the ability to create some custom tags here as well. We have your calendar, and the calendar will sync with Outlook, and any event you put in Outlook will go ahead and sync with everything in Smokeball, vice versa. This way, you have everything in one place in Smokeball. We have your tasks. You have the ability to quickly view what you have coming up for today or going forward. In other videos, we're going to do a deep dive into what activity intelligence is and what the different activities you can track in Smokeball. And our last view here on the left-hand side is we have some basic reporting of what you can look at, whether it's a matter of looking at all your different matters, referrals, if you're more litigation, maybe a statute of limitations, etc. If I come over back into the matters view, this is going to view all my specific matters. I always have my top five or the most recent matters I've been working in in the middle. Headers to go ahead and change how I'm looking at the information. I can drag and drop this as well. If I right click, I can choose to add or remove by these checkboxes. Maybe I don't want to see an internal reference number or maybe I want to include with, with the status of the specific matter or remove the attorney, etc. Finally here, we have this little drop down arrow this is going to allow you to get a variety of filters. These are your staff filters that allow you to go ahead and click on the different staff members you want to see. We can sort by status, or we can go further into the different views if maybe you want to just not sort it by the matter type if you practice for various areas of law. Stay tuned for more Smokeball demos on our channel. And if you have any law software or IT support questions, you can text my cell number, which is located below along with all of our contact information. Okay, see you in the next video.